Time to go on an aquatic adventure. Waistcoat, hat, backpack, gizmo. Check. Coordinates set. Switching to flight mode. Boosters ready. Whoa! Next stop, Japan! <laughs> Ah, yes! I made it! According to my reader, you're flying along the coast of southern Japan. Great! Now I just need to find the mud skippers and borrow some of their mud. My scanners say there's a huge mud bank just below you. If you're going to find any mud skippers, it'll be down there, Andy. In which case, I'm going in for a closer look. It really is muddy around here. Hmm, not the sort of place I'd like to live, but perfect for mud skippers. Now, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, oh, it's a fiddler crab. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes, a mud skipper. At least I know I'm in the right place. Hmm, the only thing is. How do I know that this is the type of mud that mud skippers like to build their egg chambers in? There's only one way to know for certain, and that's to find an egg chamber. But I don't really want to be clomping around in these big boots. I might tread on someone. So, to the size of a mud skipper. That's better. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this lot! Unlike most fish, mud skippers can survive out of the water for up to two days. They're all out searching for food. And these muddy banks are filled with tiny plants and animals that they love to eat. Hello! Ooh! Excuse you! Their eyes are on top of their heads, so they can easily see in front or behind them. Very handy when looking out for predators. But I'm supposed to be looking out for an egg chamber, which means I need to find the entrance to a mud skipper burrow. Let's all go on an aquatic adventure.